Hey, I'm David Robinson, and you're watching PTV News. Good morning, PHS. Today is December 8, 2016, and I'm Matt Reisner. I'm joined here by Nick Felke, our first honorary guest anchor of the year. Thanks for joining us, Nick. You're welcome, Matt. PHS, stay tuned for the latest and greatest in PTV News, starting now. We're going to start the show as we usually do with our SRT and after school meetings. Today during SRT we have bridge bus in room 218, newspaper in room 120, and heart in room 107. After school we have a robotics meeting from 3.30 to 5.30 in room 141, and the Christmas spectacular dress rehearsal is from 6 to 9 in the music wing. As I'm finding out, the PTV class is very exciting. Not sure if you realize this, but there are only five students in the class this year. Last year, the class was three hours a day and it was open to students from nine other surrounding school corporations. So with all these changes, PTV is looking for more honorary guest anchors like me and they need your help. Every week, the PTV crew will pick a recognizable guest anchor from our student body to appear right here on the show to guest anchor. No work is required on the part of the anchor besides showing up during either third hour or homeroom when the show is produced on Tuesdays. To sign up, just email one of the students enrolled in the program or email the instructor, Judy Likowski. It's the most wonderful time of the year where we deck the halls, trim the tree, go shopping, and listen to Christmas music. So the PTV crew deck the halls and asked some of you what your favorite Christmas carol is. So let's check out what some of you had to say when our Devin Gritton paid you a visit. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Gray Christmas. My favorite Christmas carol is Black Christmas. Uh, my favorite Christmas carol is Jingle Bells. I prefer Jingle Bells. I like Jingle Bell Rock. I'd have to say We Three Kings. I think my favorite Christmas carol is Joy to the World. Uh, my favorite Christmas song slash carol uh, definitely have to be Grandma Get Ran Over by Reindeer. Probably Felice Navidad. My favorite Christmas carol would have to be Jingle Bell Rock. Mine would have to be Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. Christmas Spectacular is tomorrow evening. Next up, we have a special commercial produced by Trey Heckman and Jay Day. When we come back from this commercial break, we'll have a look at what's making news for PTV Sports. On Friday, December 9th and Saturday, December 10th at 7 p.m., PHS will host the annual Christmas Spectacular. You're invited to join the Plymouth High School Music Department for this exciting program to celebrate the holiday season. This two-hour festival event features more than 200 performers representing the PHS band, choir, and orchestra. Tickets to this year's Christmas Spectacular are $5 per person and will be sold just outside the PHS Theater Auditorium starting at 6 p.m. Doors to the performance open at 6.30 p.m., a half hour before the show. I'm Jesus A. I'm Jesus B. I'm Warren Garcia. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Switching gears, let's check out what's lined up for Plymouth High School Sports on our PTV Sports Rundown for tonight. At 5 o'clock, the swim team is at Concord. At 6 o'clock, the freshman girls basketball team is at Warsaw. And the boys freshman basketball team is also at Warsaw at 7.15. Tomorrow night, Coach Bales and the Pilgrims are taking on Peru High School at 6.15. If you watch our show regularly, you already know this year PTV has granted media access to most of the Notre Dame football home games. The Irish sure did put up a good fight, but their stats this year were 4-8. and eight. Josie Koontz and Trey Heckman covered the last home game of the season when Virginia Tech met up with Notre Dame in South Bend on November 19th. Unfortunately, the Irish lost 34-31. to Josie has a recap of the game. These kids are, are wonderful. They have the effort 
the intensity and they work hard, they do everything I want them to do. I just love our kids, I love the way they battle. Players in the team have become a better player and a better man this season just because of what they had to go through. This. I just play, you know. This opportunity is second to none, you know. Sometimes I take it for granted, which I try not to, but, you know, today really showed me what this is all about. You always got to fight, man. You never know what's going to happen. We'd like to thank Notre Dame for allowing our program this opportunity to cover the Irish. We are currently working with Notre Dame Athletics for our PTV crews to cover basketball and hockey. We will keep you posted on our progress. Last week, our PTV trivia time question was, who is the male actor with the most Oscars? The classroom that called in the right answer was Leslie Condon's room. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered them some of our signature prize donuts. Congratulations to Mrs. Condon and her class for winning the PTV Trivia Contest. And by the way, if you're wondering what the answer was, we either accepted Jack Nicholson or Daniel Day-Lewis. Now on to everybody's favorite time of the show, Trivia Time. The trivia question for this week is, what is the name of Mickey Mouse's dog? If you know the answer, call it such a one 2 4 one Again, the question is, what is the name of Mickey Mouse's dog? Call extension 1241 for a chance to win. Before we leave you today, checking out the lunch menu for today. Having beef nachos, refried beans, corn, and fruit in the vegetable, vegetable bar. Well, that is all the time we have for you today. We will see you next week with our next guest anchor, so stay tuned to see who will be on the set next week. Thanks for coming out, Nick. It was a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate the opportunity. Make sure to tune in next Thursday to see who the next guest anchor will be right here on PTV.